Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Researchers. Today, we are at the Geography of Innovation Conference in Stavanger, in Norway, and I'm having an actual coffee break with Valeria Constantini. She is a professor of economic policy at the University of Romatre in Italy. Coffee Break with Researchers presents you with cutting-edge insights on regional development and innovation. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Valeria, thank you very much for accepting this invitation to a coffee break with me. And uh, how are you doing? Thank you very much, Lorena, for inviting me. And I'm quite well after a long trip, but uh, I'm very happy to be here in Stavanger. We're very happy to have you as well. And um, this time I want to talk with you about a paper you wrote in which you analyzed the influence of eco-innovations on environmental performance. Could you please tell me what the paper was about? Um, the paper was about uh, the influence of introducing uh, green technologies uh, into production processes, uh, so at the manufacturing level, and how this introduction of green technologies might help to improve the environmental quality of the production process. And uh, I understand that one of the key notions of your paper is precisely that, eco-innovations. Could you please um, provide us with the um, definition of this notion? Eco-innovation is a very wide notion that uh, includes uh, several steps into the production process. Uh, and um, you can include in the eco-innovation definition, for example, the development of new technologies that are able to reduce the quantity of energy necessary to make something. Or also, you can include uh, managerial processes. For example, the energy manager is a is considered as an eco-innovation because it reduces the energy required by labor force to, uh, to make their work, their job. Thank you for that. And uh, based on this notion, uh, which ones will you say are the main uh, findings of your paper? Um, we discovered uh, two main findings. The first one is that uh, um, the development and diffusion of uh, eco-innovations uh, and in our paper we consider eco-innovation only the um, invention of new technologies uh, um, is good for uh, improving the environmental performance of the manufacturing sector. So those sectors adopting more and greener technologies uh, are sectors that are more environmental friendly than the others. And the second findings uh, is that uh, the more the sector is integrated into the global market, uh, the higher the capacity to adopt into the production process uh, green technologies that uh, were developed uh, in other countries and in other sectors. So that the knowledge creation and diffusion uh, uh, into a global market is uh, a pros for reducing environmental impacts of, uh, of uh, the production processes. Thank you for that. I find uh, this topic very interesting and, and quite actual, so thank you. I would like to know also what was the main uh, motivation, like in a personal manner, uh, for you to write this paper? Um, the very first motivation was the fact that uh, the literature in our, in our ac academic community um, tried to understand uh, the impact of public policies uh, in fostering uh, new technologies in the green sector, but uh, there was uh, no contributions uh, in quantitative terms, uh, so with data, uh, trying to understand to which extent uh, the introduction of green technologies uh, is also favorable for reducing environmental pollution. And this is why we started to investigate on this topic. Uh, and uh, it was uh, like a joke, because uh, given that there was no literature on that, uh, 
we started to ask, okay, but if no one made that uh, uh, until now, maybe it is not possible to do that. And uh, on the contrary, we obtained uh, quite uh, interesting results. So we are happy for that. Great, we are happy to, to have the paper. So um, uh, finally, I would like to ask you about the policy implications of your paper. Um, the policy implications uh, are quite uh, um, relevant uh, given the efforts that the European Union uh, is uh, providing to obtain uh, a sustainable growth path at the, at the, country, at the country level. And um, maybe if I would like to speak with the policymaker at the European Commission, I will say um, that it is important to monitor uh, the real impact of selected policies on the environmental performance of sectors and countries and to somehow exploit the potential spillovers arising from investing in selected uh, technologies and in selected countries because it is possible to obtain the same results in terms of re reduction of pollution with uh, less money. Well, that's indeed very, very important. I'm sure they will listen to you. Thank you very much for that. And it was really a, a real pleasure for me to have you here and I hope to, wish, I hope to see you soon again. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more details about this academic publication, you can find here the link below. And see you next time. Bye bye.